let's talk about the conservation of linear momenta. The law of the conservation of linear momentum states that the total linear momentum in an isolated system is conserved. An isolated system is a system whereby there is no external forces, so in the absence of external forces, the total linear momentum stays the same. We'll look at an example of what happens before the collision and just after the collision. Take note that in momentum, we look at the instantaneous velocities just before the collision and just after the collision. So let's look at what happens to these two balls before collision. So they travel at different velocities, they collide and after the collision, this is what happens. So we'll look at the total linear momentum that is before collision and equate that to the sum of the final momenta of those two objects after the collision. So this means the momentum of ball 1 initial plus the momentum of ball 2 initial equals to the momentum of ball 1 final plus the momentum of ball 2 final. The momentum equation says momentum equals to mv so the momentum of 1 is m1v1 initial, the momentum of 2 initial is m2v2 equal to, the momentum of 1 final is m1v1 final, the momentum of 2 final is m2v2 final. Now very importantly, let's look at the cases for the conservation of linear momentum. So case 1 that you may be given, I'll let you see what happens here. But remember, you have to imagine what happens for yourself in a test because you are not given animations. We will consider the collision between block number 1 and block number 2. So in this case, let's look at what happens. As we saw, these two blocks were moving at different velocities and then they collide and continue to move separately. So we're going to express the conservation of linear momentum equation for those two objects. Since they collide and move separately, and they started moving separately, we have all these formulas like that separate. M1V1 initial, because it had its initial velocity, plus M2V2 initial, because it had its own initial velocity, equal to M1V1 final, it has its own final velocity, M2V2 final, M2 has its own final velocity. So this is how the equation will look like when we substitute. Case number 2. We still have block 1 and block 2. Let's look at how they collide now. So in this case, we can see that they were moving separately. They collide and continue to move together. So our equation is going to be M1V1 initial because 1 was moving at its own initial velocity plus m2v2 initial equal to into m1 plus m2 all multiplied by the same final velocity because just after the collision the two blocks move together case number three let's look at what happens so we can see here they start together and then they separate due to an explosion so if we want to express the conservation of linear momentum equation for that, we're going to have m1 plus m2 all multiplied by the same initial velocity because before collision they were moving together equal to m1v1 final because block 1 is moving at its own final velocity plus m2v2 final because block 2 is moving at its own final velocity. The fourth case is very interesting. Let's look at what happens. There's our block one and the on the air is block two. So what you can see here is that object two is dropped on top of object one and they continue to move together. So how will our equation in this case look like? We're going to have M1 V1 initial velocity plus zero We'll talk about y equals to, now the two objects continue to move together on top of each other. So into m1 plus m2 multiplied by the final velocity. Why do we have 0 for the block 2? 
This is because we only consider horizontal velocities. So be careful for this final case because they might throw you off and give you a velocity that is going in the vertical side but want you to consider only horizontal velocities. So you're going to substitute the velocity of block 2 as 0 making m1 v1 initial 0. Because the two blocks now continue to move horizontally, we are going to add their masses and multiply by the same final velocity. Now let's look at an example. It reads as follows. A bullet of mass 50 grams traveling horizontally to the right at 500 meters per second strikes a stationary wooden block of mass 2 kg resting on a smooth horizontal surface. The bullet goes through the block and comes out of the other side at 200 meters per second. Calculate the speed of the block after the bullet has come out of the other side. So I'll give you kind of a visualization of what happens. So there is your bullet, there is your stationary block. The bullet strikes the block. And if we use our imagination, the block will want to move in the direction of the bullet. But we can always prove our guesses using physics. So let's look at how to solve this question. Step 1. Always indicate the direction you choose as positive. Because we have velocities going to the right, some going to the left. In this case, I'll choose to the right as positive. Step 2. Write down the given data and convert mass in kg and velocity in meters per second. So here's my given data. I'll let the bullet be object 1 and the wooden block be object 2. You have to always indicate which object you're talking about. Maybe for M1, you could have used MB for M bullet. And for M2, you could have used MW for M wooden block. Okay, for the bullet, we are given M1 in grams, but we want to convert that into kg. So we divide by 1000, we get 0 0.05 kg. V1 initial equals to 500 meters per second. It's going to the right, so indicate that as a positive. V1 final is given to be 200 meters per second. It's going to the right, so indicate that as positive. For the wooden block or object 2 to be 2 kg, V2i is 0 meters per second because the block was resting initially. V2 final is unknown and it's what we're trying to calculate. Step 3. Write the conservation of linear momentum formula exactly how you see it in the formula sheet first. So I'm going to have the sum of initial momenta equals to the sum of final momenta. Step 4. You're going to modify the formula depending on the case presented. So in this case, we have a bullet that is moving on its own initial velocity. A block that is initially at rest, so it has its own initial velocity of 0. At the final stage, we have the final velocity of a bullet which is moving on, on its own and the final velocity of the block which is also moving on its own. So here's how our formula is going to look like for this case. Step 5, we substitute and solve. We have everything written in the given data with all their signs. So we're going to write the formula and substitute. The mass of 1 is 0 0.05, the velocity of 1 initial is 500 positive, plus m2 is 2, the velocity of 2 initial, initially at rest, so we have 0, equal to the mass of 1 is 0 0.05, the velocity of 1 final is 200 in the positive direction, plus the mass of 2 is 2, and the velocity of 2 final is what we are calculating. In the whole equation, we have one unknown which you can solve for the answer. So V2 final is equal to 7,5 meters per second. It comes out, it's positive, so we know it's going to the right. Now we can write the final answer. The block will slide to the right at a speed of 7.5 meters per second. This is what you were supposed to do for this example. We'll look at more examples. Guys, make sure to subscribe so that you can see them when I upload. Okay, see you in the next video, guys. Cheers.